Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you the fourth tiebreak game from 2019 FIDE World Cup which was played between Dutch chess grandmaster Anish Giri and American chess grandmaster Jeffrey Schonk. All the previous five games had ended up in a draw and this is the sixth game which is played with 10 minutes time control plus 10 seconds increment. But before starting our game, make sure that you are subscribed in order not to miss my future uploads. And now without further ado, let's get started with this fascinating game and see what happened on the board. Giri who was playing with white pieces opened up with knight f3 and Shonk responded with g6, to which Giri responded with e4 and transformed the game into modern defense. He is like saying, well, let's see. What can you offer with your modern defense? Bishop g7, d4, d6, bishop e3, knight f6, knight c3, black castles kingside and queen d2. White is both preparing castling queenside and at the same time can offer the exchange of dark squared bishops in order to weaken black's kingside. Knight c6, another popular alternative is c6, after which black is starting an advancement on the queenside, but in our game we have knight c6, here comes d5, knight b8, bishop h6, c6, we have the exchange of dark squared bishops, and white castles queenside, c takes d5, e takes d5, bishop g4, bishop e2, knight d7, rook e1, rook c8, knight d4, after which the players also exchanged the second pair of bishops. The bishops are gone and now the players will start horsing around. This is how it goes, right? Knight e5 and f4. Well, instead of playing f4, first playing queen g5 and then bringing into life this f4 f5 idea is a more ambitious and useful try but in our game we have f4 straight away the problem with this immediate f4 is that black is managing to put his knight on c4 with a tempo and later white queen finds itself somewhat misplaced queen b6 black is creating a direct mating threat and at the same time jeffrey shonk is actually choosing a very tricky line. He's going for a pawn sacrifice, he's sacrificing his pawn on e7 and in return will now rely on his queenside attack. Queen b4, knight e2, rook c5, black is freeing the c8 square for his second rook and queen d4 which is a very passive approach by Giri. Well, instead it was better to play queen e3 and then put the rook on d4. If rook c8 then rook d4 and if queen b6 then rook d3, white is doing great and has managed to repel black's attack. But in our game after rook c5 we have queen d4, a5 by Shonk, king b2, rook c4, queen d3, rook c8, rook c1. Well, the last moves made by Kiri were very passive and defensive and in return Shonk keeps on pressing hard. This time we have b5. He's playing with the black pieces and he wants to get it all. f5 by Kiri, which is a total blunder and is losing on the spot. In return he's also trying to create an attack but this gives white absolutely nothing. Instead it was better to play queen h3. I have to tell you that in this position already black's threat is rook takes c3. For example let's just make a random move. If h3 then rook takes c3 is coming and in the end of the day Black has this knight c4 check and white is losing his queen. That's why in view of that move it was better to create a counter attacking chance and play queen h3. Now if you go for rook takes c3 then after knight takes c3, rook takes c3, white can either choose between queen e6 or can even go for rook takes f7 and in this case actually white is managing to give a perpetual check. By the way I have to tell you that a move like king h6 is a bad idea because Black can even lose the game. Let's go back, but in our game after b5 we have f5 and as I've already mentioned this move is losing. There it goes, we have rook takes c3. A very beautiful exchange sacrifice which is simply destroying white's position. Knight takes c3 by Giri, rook takes c3, queen e2, of course you can't recapture because of this knight c4 check and you will lose your queen, that's why. Giri played queen e2, but anyways, we have knight c4 check, king a1 and knight e5. White is cutting the communication between 
white queen and rook preventing any possible queen e6 jumps f takes g6 h takes g6 rook f1 queen d4 right now the threat is rook takes c2 discover check that's why giri moved away his king from the dangerous diagonal but now comes knight takes d5 black's position is super solid and there is nothing white can do rook d1 and the final destructive move which blew apart white's hopes there it goes with rook d3 a very beautiful move in the style of old masters with this move black is both attacking this rook on d1 and at the same time is freeing this c3 square for his knight the threat is knight c3 check thus forking the royal family here giri played rook takes d3 and knight takes d3 by shank queen takes d3 well all giri could do was to go for simplifications but in the end of the day black has an extra piece after knight f4 finally giri resigned he will lose one more pawn and his position is totally lost a very very impressive game by 18 year old jeffrey shong who managed to eliminate from fide world cup 2019 his experienced opponent well, in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle where the task is to find the winning move for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Here are more suggestions for you. Feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.